Hi everybody, the solar eclipse is on Monday and I am so excited about it. I feel like it's my chance to be like a part of the solar system uh, and actually feel the shadow of the moon. So uh, that's Monday. I have all my cameras ready. I'm going to be live streaming from the path of totality. So subscribe to my channel if you want to see that coming up on Monday. But tonight I'm talking about something that you don't hear so much about, but it's a big opportunity to do something really cool. I'm talking about moonless nights and leading up before the eclipse. That's what we've got. The moon is rotating over us in the daylight hours coming up on Monday, which means tonight there's no moon in the sky. There are no clouds in the sky. The sky is prime. It is ripe for taking photographs of the stars. I'm here to try taking some video. I've wanted to do this a long time, so let's see how it goes. The sun has set. I shot this time lapse with the DJI Osmo Plus using the time lapse feature. But for star photography, I'm breaking out the Sony A7S II using the Star Trail app. First, I'm going to try this with a 50 millimeter f1.4 lens. This is a vintage Nikon pointed straight at space. Here it goes. This is pretty amazing to me that here on Earth we have billions of stars dancing around us every single night. We just have to turn up the iris uh, in our lens to be able to see it. Uh, speaking of that, everything we've seen so far is on a vintage lens. I'm going to swap this out with the telephoto lens and see what kind of difference that makes. Our sky is filled with stars every single night. We just can't always see them. But Monday, the star star, our sun, will be the main attraction. I'll be back with my first live YouTube video of the scene from Vogel State Park, Total Eclipse of the Park. So subscribe to my channel if you'd like to check that out. And I hope wherever you are, you enjoy what is always above us. See ya.